For the Omnipotential Core Schematic, you need to do a few things before you can actually attempt to collect this one. At your Cypher console, you need to have the top three fully researched and also complete a means to an end, which is part of chapter six. So I've just completed two quests in chapter four called Borrowed Power and Pop Goes the Devourer. Once that happens, it leads me down into the Gravid Repose, which is right here on the map. So I'm just on the next part of the quest line, which is to unlock all the Lotus ships. Once you've completed a means to an end, head back to the Resonant Peaks to unlock two more locust shifts. First one can be found right over here. Once you've unlocked that arrangement, you're going to head on over in this direction and click a second one right here. The Rondor Alcove arrangement, which is right here on the map. At 5027. Now head back and build up 60 more cosmic energy to make two trips inside. There we go, 60. Okay, hit the first option because you want to go to that inner chamber. Now you notice there's an additional locus shift inside. Dormant alcove and the Rondur alcove. This is the one we need. I'm guessing the schematic is actually on the top of that archway. Okay, so need to jump all the way up there while avoiding these little floating orbs because they will bounce you around. Reminds me of the Taskmaster's Trove. Actually, that's not the right one. Okay, it starts over here.
Now the Pokeballs. Hit the first one. When you reach this room, you'll notice an additional locus shift has been added to the other side of the room. Bowman alcove. When you reach this room, you'll notice all these sand piles around the room. This is actually linked to an achievement called sand sand everywhere all you have to do is loot all the sand piles this is where all those spatial openers come in from all those treasures you've looted over the past few days you can see they all have a different name which is all part of the achievement 